objective accomplished. Commander, the first two zones are now secure. Transport reconnaissance reveals numerous pre-collapse ruins near this location. Load an assault force into the transport. The transport will then fly you to the landing zone. Upon landing, explore the ruins and recover any artifacts in the vicinity. Mission timer activated. Understood, Christine. I think the project voice sounds like Christine, yeah? So this is our first away mission. You can see here on the landing area the B-43 Bumblebee transport, which I like to call the Flying Football. You may recall during the game's first stage cutscene that the project had three of these, which it loaded up with a few units and then sent one to each of its three different locations. This is the one that came with us to Alpha. In most away missions, you can call in reinforcements, but for this first one, we will only have one load of ten units to work with. As such, we will use our eight twin-NG tanks, a truck, and a repair tank. If you accidentally load the wrong unit, you can select the football and click on the unit to kick it back out. Once your units are loaded, click the liftoff icon in the top left to launch. As we will be heading out with the transport, we'll just assume the base will be managed by a subordinate in our absence. I will figure out a name for him later. And we're here. The stage is both very short and very straightforward. Indeed, the scavengers only have a single structure to their name, along with some of that rundown housing we like to use for target practice. However, they do have a lot of units scattered around and one surprise in store for us, but that's what I live for, spoiling surprises. This intersection is really the only choice we have to make all stage. There are three avenues of approach to the north. The valley heading east, the valley heading north, or a ramp to the top of the hills to the northwest. We will be using the northwest approach. Our truck, in the meantime, will be busy setting up a line of guard towers on the eastern route. Group 1 reporting. I select a or die here, because the only enemy structure will be a flame tower, and if it does hit us, it won't be fatal, but it will be enough to send a tank retreating to our landing zone right through the middle of the scavenger-infested valley. But that's just a precaution. As long as you aren't hit by the flamethrower, it's highly unlikely your tank force will actually take enough damage to cause any of them to retreat. If you do this, don't forget to set it back to retreat at medium before finishing the stage. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Artifact detected. Artifact recovered. Return to LZ. Construction completed. The scavenger surprise is that, once the artifact is collected, every other scavenger on the map will charge your landing zone. Given their numbers, that would actually be a problem if not for this line of defenses that was put up. This is a good lesson for the rest of the game. Trucks setting up defenses in areas you've secured is often a good idea, even in away missions where, once the stage is over, every building there will never be seen again. Structure under attack. Return to LZ. Group 1 reporting. 
Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Return to LZ. Group one reporting. Once again, our repair tank took a clobbering, and this time we don't have a second to fix him up. That's alright though, he can repair himself if given the hold position order. Just be sure to set him back off of that order once he's finished, otherwise he'll shirk his duties of repairing everyone else. Return to LZ. Ten minutes remaining. I may as well recycle the towers to get some of the cash back. Nobody's left. Return to LZ. Return to LZ. Major research completed. Weapon research completed. And the heavy machine gun. This is actually going to be one of our foremost weapons for a good half of this game. Let's compare, shall we? The Twin MG is 70 cost, 255 hit points, 29 damage per shot at 100 shots per minute, a 400 weight, and a range of 6. The Heavy MG is a cost of 95, 305 hit points, 36 damage per shot at 85 shots per minute, a weight of 600, and a range of 7.5. The damage per second of this tank is just slightly higher than that of the Twin MG, but just like the last upgrade, the cost is no real issue, the extra hit points are great, and this time we get the added bonus of an extra point and a half of range. The difference between 6 and 7.5 may not sound like much, but don't forget they have a 360 degree firing arc, which if you remember your geometry class in school, that means their firing area is pi time range squared. 7.5 may only be 1.5 more than 6 in a straight line, but it translates into a firing area increase of 57%. Return to LZ. I'll save here because with the research done, this stage can be ended by just parking our force on the landing zone. This stage is so short, it doesn't even deserve a cheesy run for the outro, so on to Alpha 4. Objective accomplished.